after adding the card to your PayPal account, you need to confirm it and that's what I'm going to walk you through in this video. But please, if you don't know how to access this page or don't know how to add your card, first watch this video and come back. Okay, to get started, click on the card you want to confirm. You will be taken to this page and you may give it a nickname if you want, but that's optional in my opinion. Then click here on confirm your cards. We are here. PayPal will first let you know that uh, they will charge $1.95 on your card, which is refunded after the card is confirmed. Take note of the mentioned duration for you to receive the card because this can vary. As for me, they told me it will take five to seven days. The card will appear on your card statement just like they are showing you here and it will be a four digit code. Upon receiving the code, you will get back to PayPal to enter it as I'm going to show you everything. So click on get code, okay? A code is on its way. Click on done. From here, you have to wait for those a few days until you receive the code and your new page will look like this. Uh, so that uh, when you come back to enter the code, you will just click on this blue line or sentence that says enter the code to confirm your card. You will also receive a notification whether your card uh, has been charged $1.95. Still, if you don't receive the notification, you can check on your bank accounts. The charge will occur first and the code will come later. As for my case, the charge occurred within seconds, but the code took seven full days to receive it on my card. How do you see or check the codes? This is the question I was wondering all the time, but uh, it is simple. Just log in to your bank account via internet banking. If you are not registered, that would mean going to your nearest branch every other time for the personal bankers to check on your accounts. But that is traditional. Ideally, nowadays, more especially online hustlers should be registered on internet banking. And like I said, internet banking is different from mobile banking of using the USSD code. So mark my words, eh? after logging in by entering your username and passwords uh, used in your internet banking registration, I was able to access uh, my account. The red figures you see are the bank charges giving you the details of each transaction and green figures are my deposits. May uh, post purchase up. This is the code and this is the charge that was taken. And uh, I want to tell you that to access this code, you don't need to be uh, going to the bank physically, but you can be using internet banking. Make sure when you open your bank account, you are connected to internet banking, not mobile banking. You should be able to differentiate that. Uh, mobile banking is different from internet banking. So they can give you the password and uh, the username. Uh, those are the logins. The details will be uh, required to log in to your internet banking using your phone using your desktop or as long as you can access internet and uh, those of you from uganda uh, if you have or if you are using the uh, standbank bank uh, you can get it from ibanking.standbankbank.co.ug all right so for more questions please uh, be dropping them in the comment section i'll reach out to you so let's continue this is the code i'm going to copy right it is nine two uh, nine eight okay so i'll go back to paypal and i'll go to pay and get paid click there uh, you are going to see the option of uh, bank and uh, debit cards or credit uh, debit cards so for my case this is the card i entered uh, continue following up the video because this is a continuation then uh, you are going to click on the card or confirm card so let me click on this card that i connected so you are going to see this option check your card statement for the code uh, then enter this blue and the highlighted one uh, enter the code to confirm your card then i'm going to click there enter the code to confirm your card so you can see the four digit code i have copied i'm going to enter it from here okay let me again get it. It is uh, 9298. 
so you say confirm okay this is the code so then you say confirm okay your Uber force visa card debit has been confirmed then you click on done so that's the process it was a bit frustrating because it was my first experience it took a whole week mm -hmm. dancing around the bank and uh, it has been successful